Hey, welcome to Pike's Boats and Bivouacs. We're going out fishing at Disney. With Dawn and Marie. And there's Mr. Tim. That's our boat and captain. Hi here, how you doing? Doing great. My name's Ed. I'll be taking you fishing today. Have you taken you fish with us before? Oh yeah, with Roger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were out. I was out here uh when were we down, Tim? June. Tim. I was out oh, fishing you were out in here. June. Yeah, fishing in Matt Roger was over here? No, no we, I was out of the campground. Campground. Yeah. That's totally different, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is different fishing over here. <laughs> <laughs> so on this trip we are going out of old Key West Resort rather than out of the docks over at the Fort Wilderness campground. So we'll see if we fish the same water or different water than the last trip. Go ahead. Where are you folks from? Pennsylvania. Okay. How about you? Jersey. Oh yeah. The only seats we're allowed to sit in when I'm in motion is this L seat and that one seat in the back. Okay. Once I'm in motion, please remember to stay seated, keeping your arms and legs inside the boat. Because right now with this wacky weather, it's confusing the heck out of my fish. Yeah. They don't know whether summer's coming or winter's coming or what yeah. the heck's coming. <laughs> so sometimes they just the big fish. They're like, well, I just wait till it calms down. Remember we ate over at the boat? Yeah. The boathouse. And the runners were here yesterday, right? Yeah. They did a run. All weekend. <laughs> <laughs> they always have it this time of year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They always do it when it's slow. Bring, Bring them all in. Yeah. yeah. And then we figured that out. Alright. Who's fishing? Everybody. I'm gonna fish. Marie, you gonna fishing. throw a line in? I'm I'll throw sure. one in. Tim, are you fishing? All right, guys, yeah. come on up here. You guys ever remember using a circle hook? Oh, yeah. All right. So everybody knows how to use a circle hook? Uh, I don't think those two do. You have to reel fast to set a circle hook. If you set the hook, it could pop out of its mouth. So I always tell folks, reel fast when the pole bends, lift on up, and keep it up. Keep it bent. These guys know how to give it back to you. Especially if you go back down with it. I get so many folks deep sea fishing out here. <laughs> and I'm like, no, just keep that thing up. Keep it yeah. up. All right, now, first thing I'll always do is anytime I touch this hook, if you guys need my help, I'll do as much as you want or as little as you want. It's up to you. Uh, I always tell folks, if I net your fish, the first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is open up the bale. People don't know what the bale is. That's that wire. Once we clip it up, it's a free spool. People have a tendency, once I reach on in, they go, hey, Jim, I got one. <laughs> yeah, you got more than one. Right. Raise your finger. So, my recommendation right now, um, you can fish any way you guys like, but my recommendation right now with these clear blue skies, high pressure is going to be pushing them down. So, I recommend throw it on out, leave your bale open, and enjoy the day. Do nothing to catch a fish. The more you do, the more you do. If you start seeing stuff and jumping around, let me know. Alright, I'll show you guys how to hook up the bait. I got them right here, I just grab a couple, put it off to the side. I find it to be easier if I put my thumb right on top of this hook. Now this point's turning straight down. I'm going to take this shiner, hold him pretty firmly. You're going to see his little lips right there and his nostrils. All right, I'm going to go past his lips in front of his nostrils. So I'm going to swim him right past his lips, stop right there, and kind of go up with the shiner. Now my bail being open, what a cast, huh? There you Great go. Fishing. All right. All right, if you guys don't say nothing, that means you don't need my help. If you say something, I need your uh, help. then say something okay. in the beginning. I need I your help. Just don't say nothing. And, you know, I get to the help. boat. I get so many folks, want to make sure you got it. Well, I, I don't want to make sure the, I'm there. Too. I don't want to manage the fish on the hook. <laughs> Meaning to get another fish on the hook. <laughs> so I'm going to make you work a little bit more. All right. It'll run out there when the fish is on thing. You'll see the line go. The fish is out there. You just got it. Yeah. The, you mean the bait? Yeah. 
Yeah. He did the first one for us. You got a fish? Loop it up. Throw the bail. Throw the bail. And then start reeling. Start reeling. All right. Hold Keep the rod. Up. Yeah. Yeah, she's on one. Here's Marie fighting her fish. And my book. Dawn, thank you for telling me. <laughs> there you go. Stop right there. Stop right there. I'm the first one with the fish. There we go. <laughs> thank you, Dawn. Pull there. Keep the pole down. Hold him out there, Marie. That's a catfish? Oh, wow. No, that's a bass. A bass? Oh, a catfish has a... Whiskers? Like a whisker thing. Uh-oh, did I hurt him? He's gonna get it out, it'll be okay. Did I hurt him? Yeah, you hurt him. It's like doing it? surgery. Yeah. Put your thumb in his mouth, right? Yeah, I'll hold him. I just don't, it, I didn't hurt him, right? Nope, nothing. Thank you for taking your time. Al was right. There you go, right pitch here? right underneath the top. Right here? Pitch yep. right underneath the top. There you go. Okay, I got a fish. My hands are smelly. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Congratulations. You got lay him. Lay him in there. Do I just, just let him go? Yeah, just let go of your right hand. That's it. Perfect. Congratulations. I'll grab a water, Ed. Absolutely, sir. Every time you say, sir, I look around for my dad. There you go, They're buddy. scaring me. Right there. He might have. Yeah, right there. Yeah, but he's a big. Yeah, he's a big one. Or try to eat the big Stop right there. Stop right there. Open it back on up. Missed it. You got a hit, man. Marie, reel it in. Doing a lot of book fishing. It's working. Reel it in, Marie. Yep, just keep reeling. Keep reeling. Stop right there. Is it the same one? No. That's a good time, right? It's already off the hook. Oh, it is. Oh, how did it get off the hook? Because you weren't reeling fast enough. <laughs> and you got. You got to put that hook in them. Real fast. Oh, there you go, Marie. I didn't hurt him this time. That's nice big. Do you want to? There you go. Does anybody want a picture? Whoa, don't go away. Fish number two. <laughs> so, why did I get that one? Because you were lucky. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're book fishing. That seems to be the trick. <laughs> Gotta have books on the boat. There you go. Yeah, by the dock. Sure. Yeah, we can try that. All right, reel it up to about a foot. You can have a seat in the back. <laughs> I like fishing. Well, you've always liked fishing. She would usually go out fishing, and once it swallowed a hook, she was done. Read her book the rest of the day. So we're only going to catch bass here, like yeah, not catfish. You can. Yeah. 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 There's catfish in here. Yeah. Sure. She's in that SPC today. She went to five different. Should I have a live one on there, or do you think I should throw a dead one? Oh, no, he's still he's still swimming. Why do you think that you don't think they're that resilient? They're out of the water just for a little bit. Let me get you with her, Ed. <laughs> there we 
yeah. you're a fish surgeon. Looks good. Thumbs up on that one. There we go. Start reeling, Tim. It's a very relaxed fisherman. Open. Open. There you go. All right, Tim. You weren't skunked. Hold him out far so he looks bigger. Oh, is that the trick? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Got it. All right. You weren't skunk, Tim. You're good. <laughs> Here's Marie. Is this fish number three or four, Marie? Did. He has a hurt tail. Wait, I don't have him. I don't Just have grab him right here. I don't have him. Wrong hand. Just grab him. I have to have him like this hand. Okay, there you go. Alright, I got him better now. Okay. Okay, you're open. There we go. There we go. Well, that's a little one. Yeah. yeah maybe. Maybe. Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. This ain't a little one. And not in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so you're from Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. That's a given. Well, I wouldn't say that. You'd be happy if you caught that in Pennsylvania. Uh, heck yeah. Well, no, no. Really in Pennsylvania. I used to fish. I had a grandfather. I had a, a pond. Okay. Every time? Blue Marsh, I'm happy with one of these. Yeah, you. Maybe you want to take a you picture. Put your huh? whole fist in the picture. Yeah. Oh, I know, I'm just yeah. saying, that was years ago, and it was a pond that was Number over. Two. Blowing. We used to catch sunfish, and so many sunfish, we had to throw them in the creek, the creek just to get rid of them. Yeah, he's been more productive than you thought. I don't Keep reeling. Okay, open your bed. <laughs> they did six, right? Yeah. <laughs> Off to do the fish count. Put your thumb in there. Great job. Now this Num one's a smaller one. Number six, right? Yeah. She's winning that tournament. It's I think the grand prize is twelve cents. That one was active. He was an active fish. So I want to talk a little bit about our fishing excursion at Disney Springs. If you're familiar with the channel, you know we fished at Disney's property before, but we were over on the lake near the Magic Kingdom out of the Fort Wilderness Campground. Those uh, fishing guides were completely booked for this trip. So we decided to try a different one so we booked a two hour fishing trip out of Old Key West and we would be fishing the lake at Disney Springs. So that was this particular trip. If you want to see what the fishing was like uh, on the other side, on, the, on Bay Lake, uh, I'll put that link in here so that you can click on that and see that trip. Uh, there was uh, more fish caught over there 
Um, but this fishing trip was very productive. I think we caught 11 fish in two hours. And of course, coming from Pennsylvania, that would be a banner day up here. Uh, so just to let you know, it is different fishing than uh, Bay Lake because it's a smaller uh, lake, but it is still just as enjoyable. So uh, Captain Ed picked us up at Old Key West. We got on a pontoon boat there. We ran the same canals as the Sasagula River Cruise, which are the uh, water taxis that run from the Disney Springs resorts like Saratoga Springs, uh, Port Orleans, and Old Key West over to Disney Springs. So that was the pathway we took from Old Key West out to the lake at Disney Springs, and then we started fishing various spots that Captain Ed uh, anchored us on so that we could catch some fish. So it was primarily bass, and of course, <laughs> Marie was the big winner. Uh, I think she caught six or seven uh, bass, and she did all this while she was reading her book. You know, as a librarian, she's always reading. And when she fishes with me, if a fish swallows the hook, then she's done and she reads the rest of the day. I caught a few and I think Tim caught one or two. And uh, Tim tried to sneak in a modified picture of our catch. I'll put that in right here for you so you can see what he wanted everybody to believe he caught. So uh, the big winner again was Marie. She caught the first fish and she caught the most fish. And it was a spectacular day out on the water. And I would highly recommend uh, that one of your activities you could consider if you're down in that area. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And give the video a thumbs up, that helps too. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Hey, thanks for watching.